Hello everyone, I'm Tharika from the WS2 API Manager team. Today we are going to talk about the high-level architecture of WS2 API Manager. Directly exposing your APIs to the end user will result in many complications in terms of security and management. If you can introduce another entity between the end user and your actual API, you can intercept the requests and apply controls as you need. An API proxy will help you to do this. For example, messages sent by the client or the end user can be intercepted and transformed into some other form that your actual backend expects. And in turn, messages sent by the backend upon request can be processed, transformed and delivered to the end user. An API gateway is the runtime for these API proxies. While the API Gateway is one of the most important architectural components in WS2 API Manager, we have other components that play major roles in different aspects of API consumption. Let's talk about them now. In the process of consuming an exposed API, there is a general flow of events. First, you need to create and publish an API. The component that helps you to do this is called the API Publisher. The published API should then be made discoverable for consumption. The API Developer Portal component provides all the functionalities required to do this. You cannot access APIs without any form of security, hence you need an entity to issue and manage access credentials for APIs so that application developers can invoke the APIs using them. The Key Manager component of WS API Manager is what makes this possible. As discussed previously, the API Gateway component intercepts and controls all the requests to APIs. The Traffic Manager component helps control traffic to APIs based on rate limiting policies. So these components that we discussed can be categorized into three architectural planes, namely they are the Management Plane, Data Plane and Control Plane. The API Publisher and the API Developer Portal belongs to the Management Plane. The API Gateway is in the Data Plane and the Control Plane comprises of the Key Manager and the Traffic Manager. Apart from these main components, we have the service catalog and analytics that can be categorized under the management plane. In the data plane, while the API gateway belongs to the API management layer, we also have the integration layer under this, which can be used to fulfill some specialized requirements in WS2 API Manager. Let's discuss about each of these architectural planes and components next. The management plane is where API creation and API management takes place. It consists of portals, that is the API publisher, API developer portal and the service catalog for users to create and manage APIs, implement rate limiting policies, apply monetization and more. The management plane includes API analytics that displays various business insights. The API publisher component is a graphical UI based tool for API development and management. API creators can design and develop their APIs with ease using the API Publisher. It allows developing, documenting, securing, testing and versioning APIs. You can also control API visibility, manage the API lifecycle, monetize the APIs and also apply rate limiting policies. The API Developer Portal component is a web interface that allows API publishers to host and advertise their APIs while allowing API consumers to self-register, discover, evaluate, subscribe to and consume APIs securely and easily. The Service Catalog allows API creators to register their services in a restful manner. This component is one of the main attributes that enable the API-first integration in WS2 API Manager. Through the service catalog, integration services are made discoverable to the API management layer so that API proxies can directly be created using them. The analytics component provides detailed and different statistical views about the APIs deployed in WS2 API Manager. You can also configure alerts and notifications on predetermined events to identify any unusual behaviors. The data plane is where the created API is exposed to the public consumers and it acts as the proxy for API calls. This also provides additional capabilities such as enforcing security, rate limiting, etc. We can divide the data plane into two layers as the API management layer and the integration layer. The API gateway belongs to the API management layer. This is the entry point for an API request made to an API managed by the WS2 API manager. 
the API gateway does the access token and subscription validation. Once the token is validated, the API gateway acts upon the API request before sending it to the backend. It applies security policies, rate limiting policies, collects statistics, etc. via its handlers. The mediators then act upon the API payload based on the mediation logic developed. The micro-integrator is one of the components that belong to the integration layer. It is lightweight and container friendly. This allows you to leverage the comprehensive enterprise messaging capabilities of the micro-integrator in your decentralized cloud-native integrations. The streaming integrator component, which also belongs to the integration layer, is a streaming data processing server that integrates streaming data and takes action based on streaming data. This is a cloud-native lightweight component that understands, captures, analyzes, processes, and acts upon streaming data and events in real time. The control plane is where the API security validation, API key generation, and rate limiting decisions are taken. The key manager component is the identity provider for WS2 API Manager and acts as the secure token service. In WS2 API Manager, tokens are generated for an application. The key manager provides a token API to generate access tokens. These tokens can be used by clients to invoke APIs exposed by WS2 API Manager. The key manager performs scope validation as well. The traffic manager component helps users to regulate API traffic, make APIs and applications available to consumers at different service levels, and secure APIs against security attacks. The traffic manager features a dynamic throttling engine to process throttling policies in real time, including rate limiting of API requests. So this concludes our session where we looked at the high-level architecture of WS2 API Manager. Thank you.